Hi there space engineers, welcome to Thunderscuff Grams and another episode of AC Space Corps. Uh, when we met the last time, I uh, was more or less finished uh, with the hangar. I had some uh, fixing up on the last wall to do, but uh, I've done that off camera, so uh, I think it's time to show what happened since the last time we met. So let's back up here and open the door. And it's pretty dark. But I put in a sensor, so when I walk in, there'll be light. And uh, this wall is now finished. So now we're totally enclosed. Uh, maybe some touches of rock look clips through. Uh, I haven't checked everywhere, but I, th I have a hunch that there's something. And uh, I also did this neon light because I realized that uh, when I'm inside the cockpit the sensor doesn't pick me up like this so now it's turned dark again uh, only when I'm outside the light returns uh, and I want the light to go out when I'm not here uh, and if I set the sensor to uh, recognize small grid ships the light will always be on uh, but like this so it will turn off when I leave and uh, when I re-enter the light will go on but if I'm inside the cockpit the sensor won't pick me up strange but that's the way it is so for now the hangar is done and uh, I changed the text so now it's two days without any injuries and I hope it remains the same. So let's back out and see how the light turns off. Like that. And on. Yeah. I know it's pretty childish, but I like it. So let's close this door. I will put that on the sensor uh, later on. But for now, some of my own light. And let's go up to our memory board and see what's next. Uh, so I think I, we can say that the hangar is finished for now. So the living quarters is next. Uh, the canteen is more or less ready. The functional parts uh, is more or less ready too, but the exterior uh, still leaves a lot of room for improvements. Uh, I mean, the sleeping compartment doesn't even have a roof, uh, and, and that won't do. Uh, but before I finish off the exterior, uh, I have another project I want to do. Uh, because it kind of affects the exterior but I want a walkway of catwalks uh, that goes from the outside here we have still some areas that will be left over, uh, above ground like the solar panels for example uh, they can't go below uh, so we'll have to have a way to perform service so I want a walkway of catwalks and I think we will let that go all the way from here over there and it will also extend to this side once I finish up uh, the base for our guests. Uh, this corner there, that's where the neutral can stay. So uh, I want the walkway to go all the way over there. So I will start with that one and uh, since it's not smooth all the way I guess I have to uh, make some bridges and what not. But let's carry on. So I want some cylindrical columns, I think I will need those, a couple of them at least. and. A shitload of catwalks. And I think. 
think we can start from here right away. So all of these blocks will be replaced by catwalks and every now and then I will put down a column like support. I know that in Space Engineer uh, that kind of structural integrity is, isn't quite a thing. Uh, but nevertheless I uh, want some element of realism at least. So let's rock. Uh, the right color scale. It's supposed to be dusty. And I think we'll go with a lighter gray. Like that. And since we have reoccurring sandstorms, I think we should have the railings also. So uh, the engineer doesn't get totally blinded when walking around up here. And here I think could be a good place to have a crossing. So just a single wall. And this should probably open. We can turn on this way as well. And a corner. taken one open because I feel that this is a place where you can go either left right or center and here we should have we need some kind of support so I will will this up now and uh, remove uh, the interior blocks beneath and uh, at strategic places I will put down the columns. So I'll meet you at the other end of this. Like that. Well, uh, this is kind of a critical moment. Uh, I took a long shot at uh, this rotor Energy low. and uh, put up two blocks at the side so I can cut away the interior block beneath it uh, and it didn't fall through so I it's with some level of confidence I will make the same attempt here uh, am I out of interior plates yes I am so I'm gonna grab for that and then I want one for the pillar. So uh, this can get pretty ugly pretty quick. Uh, what I'll attempt now is uh, to put down a block on that side and a block on that side uh, to keep it steady. And there is one block there. So now it's secured in three places uh, and it should be if one point should be enough or three points is not enough so uh, it's an unnecessary precaution but I do it anyway and uh, this might fall. Uh, I hope that these blocks means that there is security so I can put down the pillar beneath it or else I will have to do this solar tower from the beginning once again so uh, keep your finger crossed uh, and let's see if nothing else you might get a good laughter looks like it's still standing anyway and I can put in a new pillar. 
let's weld this up before physics comes back and bites my ass. So. Then I should be able to remove these two. Just as I ground that way, I heard an explosion. I, I don't know if you heard it, but I think it was uh, <sighs> one of these signals. And I think we have connection here. Uh, I want to put down two, uh, two catwalks between here because I think of this like a, a service area so you can walk in there but I want to keep up what I done before with this uh, black and neon tubes uh, acting as extension cords um, so I will put them down where did I have them number three and I want them black and I don't want any skin and I want this one like that and same there and then I will put the catwalks above it energy critical And let's go back to the right color scheme here. Like that. And I want a wall like that. So now it looks like we have some kind of service area here. I'm going to put up some lights and uh, just maybe this ending to make some kind of a connection box. It doesn't fit nice there, but maybe if I do like this and then put could maybe be an illusion of where did I put you there that might actually work probably and then we will continue this walkway bridge ish until we reach the other side somewhere here it looks like it inclines pretty much so maybe we'll have to make some kind of stops along the way uh, where you can walk off this walkway So, that's the walkway. Let's remove these before Energy I weld anything low. up. So I know if something falls, at least it won't do that when I welded it all in place. And I'm hungry and I'm thirsty and no energy. I'll bit get back after a quick snack. almost done uh, with the welding but uh, running around here in the middle of the night with sandstorm it kind of gives me the insight that this is wait these lights uh, some kind of lights that give you a sense of orientation because like from here it's actually could be hard to find it you walk around in a sandstorm and your light goes out, you have low energies. Uh, so 
safety reasons, there should definitely be lights on it, so you can find it. And also if you come by a ship, uh, probably not drop because uh, it won't go this high, but at least you uh, I want some kind of warning that I'm heading for objects. Oops, that was totally wrong. So let's go from the beginning. We have managed to get here, and uh, this one is definitely good. good. And probably that one too at a later stage. So you have this work area. And then we have this catwalk. Where you can get off, if not halfway, so at least one third. And I'll think of a reason to motivate this. And all the way to the living quarters. And here we will put some kind of an entrance. Uh, but the issues with the lights. I'm wondering, can I? of light posts Well, it's hard to see in, in the daytime uh, how the light is working, but it does. Uh, so I guess I have to check on it during the night. So what kind of a door do we want here? Do we want the ordinary, the offset, or... I think when coming from the sandstorm, I think we should go with uh, a sliding door. I don't. We don't have to make it airtight, but uh, at least the impression of somewhat sheltered from uh, the environment. So uh, I'm standing uh, in a bit of the distance and looking at uh, what is supposed to become the living quarters and the entrance I made from the beginning. It, it's, it's just silly. Uh, that's the entrance to uh, a, li a little uh, asteroid uh, base uh, and not to living quarters on a Tra proud trading station. So uh, the door can stay. Uh, that solution I can go go behind. Uh, but uh, the rest, uh, like I'm trying to hide away, that won't do. It won't do at all. Uh, and the piping are down here, making this ridiculous loop. Uh, it will go around at ground level instead and uh, will be incorporated in uh, the exterior of uh, 
the living quarters because uh, what I'm doing is just silly. So uh, I will faff around and think a bit, uh, but what I've done so far, it's just silly. Uh, I have to rework what I've done. Uh, the stairwell, yes, I can work with that, uh, but the rest, uh, you know, what, have, what am I actually doing? That's the question I have to answer for myself. So, uh, I will redraw the piping for starters, uh, and then I will go from there and try to make something sensible instead, because this is, this is nuts. So the outlines of the living quarters more in shape right now. Uh, when daylight comes again I will start greebling up, uh, putting lights on and change the details. Uh, but the rough shape is there. Yes, uh, the sun hasn't really set yet, but uh, it's quite a bit darker than uh, before. And uh, from this distance, I can actually see the light posts on the walkway. And let's move in a bit closer and uh, sneak a little peek at how it looks. So it would be interesting to see that I actually can see the light on the walkways. And there I painted the wrong color. Let's see. So there's some light to guide me, at least. And uh, the living quarters, it's quite bare. Uh, not much decorations. Uh, as you can see, I started to make something on the canteen, so there's now neon lights and uh, we have a wind turbine on top why not it's high above the ground and a pillar for decorations uh, and I think we have to do something like that here too uh, but I have in no way decided how I should do that Some parkour. But it at least looks a bit better than before. So uh, I think I will call it today. So uh, thank you for joining me on this episode. And uh, I hope I meet you again soon uh, in the next episode. And until then, I wish you all health and happiness. 
and uh, take care out there. See you around.